Hello everyone, welcome back. In the last episode, we talked about what CAD is, what Onshape is, and the difference between a part studio and an assembly. In this episode, I'm going to talk to you all about sketches. Sketches are what makes up the basics, the base of any CAD model, or any, anything you create in CAD. All a sketch is, is a 2D drawing, a sketch. So if I want to create a sketch, all I have to do is go up here into the top left, left click on sketch, it'll prompt me to click to pick a sketch plane. All that means is you need to tell it where you're drawing. So I can hover over the front, hover over the top or the right, and you can pick. So I'm going to pick the top right now, just left click it, and what you'll see is this bigger rectangle form around it. Now what we can do is come over here to this cube and click top. You can also hit the letter N on your keyboard. So that's what I'm about to do now. So when you hit N, it just brings you right up and you can see it really clearly. Now, you know, if you may have noticed, uh, the dashboard looks a little bit differently. So now there's all these icons. These icons are the basic tools that make up a sketch. To start with the sketch, let's start with a line. So I go over here to the top left, I left click on line, you'll see it kind of highlighted. And now I've got this plus sign instead of a regular cursor. And what I can do is go highlight over this dot, left click once, and then I can drag it around and see where I want it to go. So I can make it go right here, and you see it forms kind of this dotted line. That means that it's straight to the right. You can do the same thing for going vertically and horizontally. But I'm going to go right here, and it allows me to create a chain of lines. So I can just click around. So if you have Onshape pulled up, go ahead and click around a little bit, see what it's like, and then I can connect the final thing. So you may have noticed when I finished and I connected that last piece, this whole thing became darker. And what that means is that this is an enclosed shape. So I could, in theory, fill this with water and nothing would leak out. That's really important in a little bit. We'll get to that later. So this is not very useful to me right now. It's not very exact and I can drag it around. Um, what I'm wanting to create right now is a square. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna left click right here and I'm gonna drag all the way across. So I'll keep holding it down and I'm gonna let go right here. What that did is select all of the objects. So now I can hit the delete key and all of them are gone. There's also a few other ways to make things in the sketch. So I showed you the line up here. Uh, next we have the rectangle. So the rectangle uh, allows me to start in one place with a left click and while still holding it down, drag over to somewhere else. And so now I've made this whole rectangle. And you'll notice I've still got this cursor plus sign so I can still keep making rectangles. What you want to do to get out of that is either click on this again or if I'm in this, you can hit the escape key. So now I don't want these two. What I'm going to do is just delete them. And then now I have this rectangle right here. Um, and I'm going to delete this and show you one more thing. So delete that, hit delete. The next thing I'm going to show you is the circle. The circle's really useful. All you have to do is click in the center, only click once. You don't have to hold it down. And then you can drag and change the size of the circle. So click again. And I can make a bunch of circles like before with a rectangle. And I can just select, delete, select, delete. So here's my circle. Now, um, I don't want a circle. I want a square because I plan on making a cube. So I'm going to select my circle, delete it. I'm going to come over here and you can click this little arrow, left click it. And what drops down is a corner rectangle and a center point rectangle. We're going to click center point rectangle. I'm going to highlight over this until we see that red, that center dot is yellow and there's a yellow square around it. Click once and then you can drag this square around, this rectangle. So I'm going to click again. And then I'm going to hit, I'm going to come back over and click it again, so now I'm off it. So what we have here is a rectangle uh -oh, that is centered around the center point of this plane. Now if I want this rectangle to be a certain size, say one inch by one inch, how would I do that? So there's actually a special tool for it. It's called Dimension. You go right here, left click it, and then you can click on one of these lines. So I'm gonna click on this line on the right, 
and what you'll see, I haven't clicked again yet, um, you can see the number, so I can click again, and now it will prompt me to put in the number. So I'm going to type 1 and hit enter. So now that side is 1 inch wide. So I've still got the plus cursor mark right there, meaning I'm still in dimension mode. And let's say I want to get out of that. So I click it again, I'm out of it. Now we have a square, right? Everything is good? Well, not quite, because I can still drag, drag it in this dimension. And if you notice, this line and this line are blue, but these two lines are black. Basically, what a black line means is that it is constrained. And all constrained means is that it can't move around like we can here. So I can move it side to side, but I can't move it up and down because that's black. So if I wanted to make it where it can't expand like this, basically I have to say that this line is equal to some number. We're going to call it one inch because I want to make it one inch. One thing I could do is go back and hit dimension, click on it, then hit one. But I don't want to do that. I want to do something else. I don't want to have to always hit that because it's always going to be the same as this. So why do I need to type in one inch again? So you can left click on this dimension, see it highlighted, and you can hit delete, and now it's gone. So now I can move my, move my rectangle again. What I'm going to show you is a tool that allows you to make this side equal to this side in length. What we do is we come over here to the equal sign. We left click it, we see how it's highlighted. I click this line and this line. And now they're both one inch. So I can't drag this around. Everything's black and we're all good to go. Now that we're done with the sketch, we come up here to the top left and hit this check mark with a left click. And there we have it. So now you can see our little square sketch on the top plane. In the next episode, I'm going to show you how to turn this into a cube. Thanks.